Hey guys, it's Maggie again. I'm back. If you haven't been here before, I am Maggie and I am a part-time reseller on the Toshmark app and I share my entire journey here on YouTube. Today I'm going to do a little something different and I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade biscuits, which you probably already know, but I still I just felt like it. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I kept thinking, why can't I just get all dressed up and make some biscuits? Well, because I don't get dressed up to make biscuits. I just wear my pajamas with no makeup, no shower, no nothing. So I'm just going to do this like normal. This is how I would normally do it. Um, this is my mom and I would always cook all the family meals um, in our pajamas. And so at noon or one o'clock, we'd inevitably not had a shower yet. And my brothers would show up for dinner and, uh, you know, it's just how we did it always. So anyway, um, I've got my little cup of coffee here and um, I've got all the ingredients laid out so it shouldn't take us very long. Let's go. All right, I've got two cups of flour right here in this bowl. And then to that, I am going to add a half a cup of shortening, which I always put a little bit more shortening in there that need, than it needs. I like extra in there. Then, um, after the shortening, I have three teaspoons of baking powder one tablespoon of salt. This is the Betty Crocker recipe. And, let's see, I think that might be it for now. Yes, flour, shortening, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Okay. Then we get out this thing, and I have no idea where this thing came from, but it's very old, um, but it still does what it's supposed to do, which I can't even remember the name of it, but you know, this is what you do. You just crush that, if anybody knows the name of this doohickey, please tell me um, in the comments below. Anyway, all I do is just just continuously break down this shortening, just cutting it into the flour and the baking powder and the salt. It does not take very long at all. You'll see it breaks down pretty quick. You just keep messing with it, keep squishing it until it starts to look about like, oh, sand with relatively large grains. And that's what you do there. Now, at this point, I would love to say that I put buttermilk in every time. I put buttermilk in every once in a while, but I typically do not have buttermilk available. It's just not something that I think to buy, which is sad because it's a wonderful thing. I wish I did think of it. But anyway, so that's about enough. About enough of that. Then um, we're going to go over here to Betty, Betty Crocker again, and see what we need. Three-fourths cup of milk, and I am terrible. I use dry measuring cups for liquid, so I'm going to go get some milk. The truth is, if you don't have milk, you can use water. You can use, um, there's also a buttermilk powder that I've used before, and um, which would be against everything I stand for normally, but my mom used it, so I figure it must be okay. Still nothing the same as real buttermilk. Okay, there's that. Now I take a spatula and I just kind of do this number for a little bit and introduce that milk down into the flour and all the other good stuff. You can see it's starting to come together. This is so simple, you guys. There is no reason why we buy pre-made biscuits because they, these are just so easy. This is the part that I think makes the people uncomfortable coming up here in just a second. All right, we'll make sure that we're in, in picture. Make sure you have clean hands and you just kind of go for it. You just do this. And you get that all mixed together. And yes, it feels like you need to throw it out the window at this point, but you don't, I promise. You just keep going until you get all that good stuff off the bottom. Make sure you're <laughs> obviously you gotta have a clean counter too, guys, because we're gonna be throwing it back into the bowl when it jumps out. Okay. Get that done. Get that stuff in there. take it in my 
hands and just kind of mess with it a little bit like this, this gives it a chance to come together without getting soaked and dried out and more flour. And then there's a really important key coming up here I want to show you guys. So I lay it all out on the flour. Now a lot of people um, get the rolling pin out at this point. I don't. Um, I just kind of do this on it. And we fold it. And we're going to fold it almost 10 times. If 10 times feels okay, we're going to fold it 10 times. But if it starts to feel dry, we're not going to fold it that many times. The reason we're doing this is so that when you cut it out, you'll have those layers that biscuits are supposed to have. And that's how you can take your fork. It's what allows you to take your fork and poke it into the biscuit and make it come apart in a nice little, two little slices. I think that's enough. You get to the point where you just kind of know when it feels right. Okay, and this is this part. Instead of using the, instead, I know this seems really crazy, but instead of using um, a rolling pin, how I do it. I just, I remember my mom doing this too when I was little. Now some people enjoy thicker biscuits. Some people are okay with a thicker biscuit. If you have anybody in your family who has diabetes, it's a good idea to make thinner biscuits. That way they can have more and not take in as many carbohydrates. So there's that. Darn it, I gotta find a biscuit cutter. Never fear. <laughs> oh, I have so many biscuit cutters coming out of my ears, you guys. All right, we're just gonna use this one today. Now, some people do all the holes in the batter or the whatever you wanna call it, and then they put it all back together and do it again. I don't do that. And I'll, I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm going to tell you the reason why. The way I do it, I'll dry this off real quick. The way I do it is I, um, I go up to the edge of the, of the dough, get on there as close as I can, and then I have a biscuit. Put that on the pan. And I just kind of keep doing that. Because my philosophy is, if you just cut out the circles and then put the dough back together, you're not getting those layers back. It's never going to be the same. And so my biscuits might come out with a little bit of a weird shape, but their layers are very intact, and that's important to me. Plus, this way, they don't get too dry, and they, um, I was trying to trying to come apart and be layered already. Um, they don't, you don't accidentally waste them at the end. It's just a very good thing. This is something I kind of, this part I kind of invented on my own. And again, it's weird sometimes, <laughs> um, like there's a little curly cue on that one. Sometimes they come out looking a little bit like ice cream, but that's okay. They're still wonderful. Biscuits are so good just for so many different things. You can put them with strawberries and ice cream and it turns into um, a strawberry uh, shortbread that my dad used to do all the time and that is delicious. And you can also um, lay it on top of vegetable soup, vegetable beef soup or chicken soup and bake them like that and then it turns into like a, a chicken pie or a beef pie. So now I'm coming down to where I have just about enough dough to do two biscuits. So I'm just going to take my cutter and cut off half of that. And see, I've got two blobs of dough that really don't look like much. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of love on them and make them into little biscuits. Okay, that way we've, we've done the best we can to keep those layers just perfect. So, that is it, you guys. It literally, what, how, much, how long did that take? Less than nine minutes to make donut or to make biscuits. So, um, anyway, that's it for biscuits, guys. And after I bake them, which you bake them at a 450 degree oven for about 10 minutes, um, I'm 
going to take a picture of them when, after they're baked, and they'll be delicious looking. That way we can put them in the video and you can see what they look like. As promised, here's the finished product. Have a good night. Thank you.